everybody. Hello. 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 Thank you very much for coming to this panel, all of you. Um, I can count you all on two hands, so that's great. Um, but uh, I do understand there's plenty of other amazing panels going on at this time, so I do appreciate you coming. Uh, hello, people on video. I'm glad you get to see this eventually. Hello, I'm Rob. Hi, everyone. I'm Rob. I'm amazing. Um, we're all amazing. You're all amazing. Uh, and today. I want to talk to you about uh, having a bit of body confidence when you're cosplaying. Um, now, when I was writing this, I sort of realised that a lot of the things that I was talking about was basically ways to cover up the things you hate. Um, which is not the point of this panel. Basically, there's no magic word I can tell you to love yourself. I can say you're all amazing, and I do generally think that because I also am amazing. But that's not going to help you, you know, put on whatever you want. Um, so, like, you know, what I'm going to cover today is some way to, like, you know, maybe modify your cosplay, um, kind of improve what you're doing, kind of, you know, try and make yourself feel better about where you, how you look in your cosplays or whatever. Right, so let's get started. Uh, I'm very sorry for the very corporate looking uh, PowerPoint. Normally I do joke ones, but I, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah, there's no rules in cosplay, apart from don't be a dick, I guess. Um, like, dress up how you want, where, you know, do anything. I mean, I, I, I feel like I'm going to the team down by not being in cosplay right now. Um, but I would be just a big bird person, so I think you wouldn't have taken it very seriously. Um, but, uh, you know, there's no rules. Like, you know, you could do amazing, accurate, incredible costumes like my lovely co-host here. Oh, sorry, um, Azara, uh, Harriet, and Mel. Um, and, um, you know, uh, or you could do, like, uh, kind of casual cosplays, Disney-bound stuff, where it's like, oh, it's similar to this costume. Um, and, you know, whatever characters you want to do. Like, don't think, oh, you know, do I suit this character? If you want to do a character, get in that fucking costume, mate. I mean, uh, just do it. Um, and, yes, please ignore anything that I say today, apart from that last one. Um, you definitely have to take that and keep that in mind. Uh, anything? Please uh, interrupt me if you have anything to say, you <laughs> uh, Don't, don't throw things at me. <laughs> um, so, okay, the big one, I guess, is kind of body. I'm a fat dude. Um, I'll put it out of the um, I also was two stone heavy when I pitched this, so at least I lost a bit of weight. Um, but you know your body better, better, body better than anyone. Like you see a lot of people going, oh, you know, the last, the last kind of slide. I'd say, oh, you know, do whatever you want. Um, and I know people will say, oh, you all look great. Is that? Don't worry about what people think. But like at the end of the day, you have to kind of also be comfortable with what you're, with what you're doing cosplay wise. Like don't let anyone force you to do a costume that you don't want to do. Just do what you want to do. Maybe get out of your zone something you want to do, that's great, but yeah, we'll do what you want. Definitely. Do what you want to do. Even had a like, my friend was crying yesterday, just in a picture of a book. And I was like, don't you know how to do it? Get changed. Get changed. I don't mind. Do what you want to do. Take out your sick license, redesign around you. I think that's kind of pretty self explanatory. Like, um, I'm, yeah, the, the, the third person I'm doing is some weird, like, personal thing I've made of, like, all of you from Pokemon has an Aztec warrior. So like that's completely made up. I'm making up as I do. Um, and yes, work with what you've got, girl. If you saw Mel, one being wonderful, in about five minutes ago. So uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, I had a trans friend tell me that they like, you know, they don't like their bum very much, so they kind of do lots of squats. Uh, and uh, now they like to kind of, kind of highlight that when they do their costume. Uh, uh, if you got it, flaunt it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Patterns aren't perfect, um, especially when you've got a weird body shape. Um, so like, uh, I generally, like recently I've been taking, I've got like, you know, patterns or whatever, I'm just like, right, okay, I know that I've got big bellies with things to go down like that when I do the chore uh, over the fabric. Um, you've got to figure that out yourself though. It's, it's kind of tricky, like, you know, they visualize the in the pattern. Normally they have a good instruction so you can kind of figure out what pits do what. Um, you know, break down the steps, what needs changing. Putting onto test fabric is also something you should probably do whatever, however you look, even if you're like, oh, I'm fucking gorgeous enough to do these pose amazingly. Just to kind of make sure that stuff fits, you can maybe edit it to kind of tailor it to your size. Uh, my friend Tad Kimpton has got like a tailoring panel later today, which probably would be great to go to if you're kind of interested in your like proper body fitting clothing. Um, yeah, you can always make clothes smaller. Um, so there's, you know, measure twice, cut once is the uh, kind of like the, the big kind of engineering thing. With clothing, you can always make it bigger. You can always then like trim down, like you know, test it in the fabric. You can then roll it into the trimmed, keep testing it until it's the right size. Make it slightly bigger when you're on your real fabric, and then you can always trim it down a bit. And you know, make sure you've got plenty of time to take apart your costume and 
do it again, I guess. Before those fails, safety pin. Safety pin, safety pin. Yeah, yes, safety pin. <laughs> 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 I, I, was, like, I was perhaps away, like, if you're wearing a cake, you might have safety pins, but I'll just see yeah, what uh, safety pins going everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> or get you the circumference you were, take from a different angle. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, don't take from this side. side. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, don't look as uh, now this last one I put in because someone once told me this about a decade ago. I've not done it, but um, taking apart clothing you kind of want to copy and kind of figuring out how that's made mm -hmm. apparently is a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how I'm glad people look. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but I wanted to like when I was a, a wee eighteen year old, I was like, oh, I really want to be Spice people from Panel People, and I asked my friend like, how do I do that? She's like, oh, I'm going to take apart a suit. I'm like, I don't have a suit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tim's. <laughs> um, so it's a bigger clothes. eBay is always a good place to start. Um, always look uh, if you know if you manage to drill down enough, that can give you like, oh, what size to look for. XXL is great for me. Um, well, never forget Primark. Primark can get some cheap, wonderful shit. It's um, the best place to go. I am um, uh, <laughs> coining the trend of wearing the pajama bottoms. Yeah. <laughs> they're the comfiest. Right they're the comfiest. <laughs> <laughs> you did they're literally thing. the comfiest <laughs> shit ever. Amazing. And they come in all kinds of like nerdy shit, so you're literally just like, yeah, fuck okay. it. Yeah. Pikachu <laughs> leggings forever. Pushy. Pikachu. I have not had one pajamas. Mel's not joking either. And then, <laughs> no, I have, I have some as well. Yeah, yeah, I have Bemo, I've got Finding Nemo, <laughs> I've got. Um, um, I've got Aristocats. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Unicorns. <laughs> I love the machine and stuff. I've got the main three-star ones. I just get the biggest. <laughs> I'm the same. <laughs> I, I was hoping for that. Like, uh, so I've had great luck with Giacomo. Um, I know it's a bit of a cliche, and like, I'll bring my great Giacomo, but like, I got these shorts um, like last year, and they came in like a day and free delivery, and I was like, oh great, so like, if you're going to start for clothes and like shit, to make, it might be more expensive than something you can get on eBay, but it'll come and it's pretty good quality, so yeah. Um, Blavissimo, which I guess is not something I've had to worry about, so um, oops. Um, I've never actually shopped with Blavissimo. Uh, <laughs> uh, and uh, shapewear, shapewear is always great, whatever you look like, whatever you're cosplaying, if it'll help you get the shape you want, put it on, That's get your spanks on. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, people do it, even if it's just for like, uh, for, sorry, for adding padding, I'll say that. <laughs> people do do it. Um, I've got a, a friend, she's like, you know, sometimes I, you know, put in like uh, fake boot padding because she's worried about it and it's like, mm -hmm. whatever. Um, even if it's just like, oh, you know, people doing, oh, I'm doing Gohan from Dragon Ball Z, so I'm going to make like a muscle suit. And it's like, yeah, whatever. I mean, that's, that's perfectly acceptable. Why would you do it for anything else, really? Um, I wanted to use can be extremely hot. <laughs> um, the air conditioning in here is terrible, so uh, I'll probably be warming up if you're in right now. Um, I did try and see if I could like add anything here to help you, but they're quite complicated, so please Google tutorials. Uh, what it seems to be, oh, yep. With the body says, um, yeah, I have probably, that's Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's got the body yeah, yeah, on the sheet, yeah, so, yeah. And um, cosplay tutorial.com, she does loads of work for Oh, cool. Tutorials. Oh, perfect, that's great. Um, but yeah, for all of the kind of the, the padding stuff, um, people seem to be like pushing for muscles, it's like individual muscles out of foam and then sew it into like the bodysuit or whatever. So rather than like my arm is just bulky now. <laughs> so I guess like we like you would do with drawing and muscles as well. So yeah. Um, so you foam and stuffing, whatever, whatever stuff, whatever tutorial you were following is working. You know, again, practice, make sure you've got plenty of time, etc. Uh, what else we got? Oh yes, that's me after Friday night. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think that's most people after yesterday. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, now these are, I, don't actually, I need to make one myself. Um, my body weight is changing, so it's like, oh yes, this was brilliant two weeks ago. Um, but yes, the first tip I've always been told. <laughs> Get a good close friend to help you make a duct tape dummy. Um, put some kind of like, some people just do like, sorry? Like placing, exactly, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Whether you're in full body or just like the top, um, you know, wear something that you are, you can cut up. Just get someone to then completely cover you and duct tape like you're a mummy. Um, tape tape the sleeves and trousers shut. Stuff it. Use the hand clothes on, or um, you know, use it as a dress mannequin for yourself. Um, Make sure you're well hydrated, or else you will pass out. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. When you cover yourself with cling film or duct tape, you're literally like cutting off your skin from breathing. 
So, I, as I found when we tried to make a duck tummy, he ended up having to cut, cut me out of it because I was literally like, I'm going to the <laughs> When you're cutting out as well, it's always better to do it in a zigzag rather than straight down because then it's easy to take together afterwards. <clears throat> Top tips from Fred. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I didn't talk to my friends who are long and short to help me uh, figure out learning these tips. Um, it's very similar, you know kind of how, how you are, you know kind of how clothes fit you. <coughs> kind of take the kind of, you know, if you need to see longer, do this, do so, travel leg longer. Measuring shape tapes are great, they're also cheap, you probably get them the crackers these days as well. So uh, I've, I've got about three cracker measuring tapes that I keep around the house just in case I need one in arm's reach at any second. Um, so, you know, that knocks a lot. That was quick. Oh, <laughs> <coughs> uh, so, visible scars. Um, of course, with scars and somewhere or other, I've got like loads, a, a basis for a very popular tween band that gave me a scar at school, um, which has actually very, very slowly healed. Um, the scar on the neck. Oh, yeah, for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So you don't, have to, you don't have to be okay with them. Like you know, you don't you, you can cover them if you want. You don't have to cover them if you don't want. It depends on you and you know whatever. I know people who cosplay with their scars open. I've seen some great cosplayers who are just like fuck it. You know they might have self harm wounds, but you know they're it's out there and it's like great. That's wonderful. Um, <coughs> as I said before, take up a zip license. Change the design to ask these if you want to, or you know maybe you know, change up the leg length or just add a little bit extra wear that will cover the scar if you want to cover it. Um, yeah, doing character gets some fights, have plasters to show you being in battle. Um, if you're doing okay KO, okay or like a Dragon Ball Z costume, then you can do that. So, uh, yeah. um, so I had a friend tell me lots of skin treatment things you can get for um, Wizard Star. Probably a lot of this is also generally good for skin or bad skin or whatever. So um, let's go over these. Uh, you can treat scar, scar skin, uh, help aid recovery and health. <coughs> Um, use silicone pads on heel scars. I don't know what they do, but apparently they're very, they're very nice to kind of just fall around in your scars. Uh, collagen enriched moisturizing creams can um, kind of help uh, improve the collagen, I believe, and just you know help them uh, get a color and stuff. Derma rollers. Apparently, it's a, a, a ball or a, like a rolling thing of needles. Um, it sounds. A spiky lint Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> apparently, they're really, really good. I, again, if you've got a fear of needles or generally don't want like fucking hedgehogs going over your skin, um, don't have to. Um, I make sure to use suntan lotion, especially everyone seems to be getting burned this weekend, so uh, you should do that anyway, uh, especially on <coughs> any kind of damaged skin. Uh, gently exfoliate, uh, but don't over exfoliate like some kind of good. Um, and uh, yeah, big lumpy scars can be flattened, especially if they're painful, and ask what you hear about it. But again, you can ignore this if you don't care. So, but. You know, uh, you should probably treat your skin better anyway because it's nice and pampering. Good lush, good nice There's some oils and lotions that you can use as well. Uh, I think there's bio oil. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one's quite recommended good. to use for like stretch marks or mm -hmm. like scars yeah. in general. So kind of just, just yeah. yeah. Right, so what else have we got? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, or you can just cover it with your makeup uh, or tattoo. I know a friend of mine she's saving up for. Um, just to get like a couple of uh, some tattoos and that'd be great. And then I guess then you've got a couple of tattoos and prospect for you, that's fine. Makeup is amazing. Uh, learn mine on right now, but I will be when I get changed later. Uh, never been a better time to learn how to do it. There's like a trillion, trillion uh, makeup tutorials on YouTube that you can follow along to, which are great. Um, now I present mail and every other dude, you should also try to learn makeup, it's super easy. I just use a bit of um, primer, a bit of, a bit of foundation, a bit of, um, Concealer, yep, yeah. and then uh, I sometimes contour as well, and then blend it all in. You do better than me. <laughs> <laughs> contour again, contour. YouTube, vi YouTube videos. This yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, and also the last contour kit I had, had like a, like I kind of opened a little pamphlet and went down like that. I was like, oh, yes, here's like 15 face types. How to kind of contour? Oh, yeah. and I was like, oh, yeah. okay, sure. That's good. Everyone's face yeah. type is different, so we're not yeah. going to contour yeah. your face to other contour my face to. And check what kind of skin type you are as well, some that does affect. So you have dry skin, you put on makeup, you just kind of blotches. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently Lush has got a new uh, very natural makeup range, mm -hmm. perhaps that'd be better for some people. Um, but yeah, experiment practice, talk to friends. It is really fun. It's uh, a great it's, it's like artistic, it's great, I love it. Um, I work from home, so sometimes I've just been on a bit of eyeline to practice. It's 
uh, one of the rules. Um, uh, and there's other you know, practical makeup. Um, yeah, the, with the contouring, you can change the shape of your face. Uh, if you're trying to be more anime, you can <laughs> do that. You can like, do my like, uh, kind of anime drawing with some like cheekbones that come out here, so you can fly on them. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, you can also use uh, a bit of makeup to, you know, make, give yourself like a six pack or a night, or better looking abs, or better looking cleavage, or better looking muscle tone, or whatever. Um, and again, trillions of tutorials you can find on that. It's more just about like using um, contouring stuff or um, bronzer to kind of, you know, just darken bits. Like yes, yes. Make yourself mm -hmm. amazing. Um, right, cool. Uh, so not just cosplay, but also like showing off your amazing costumes. Going on stage, really performing or in a masquerade. Um, everyone is there to see you. No one gives a shit what you look like. They're just like, yeah, woo, and they'll clap you, and it's great. Except if you're doing competition with judges. Oh, judges, yeah. Well, it doesn't. Really <laughs> see, I guess I, I'm, I'm the exception where I'll do stuff and not care about being judged. So uh, they don't care about your body; they just care about what you're wearing. Yes, yeah, yeah, that well, yeah. Um, and it can be daunting, and I get it. But like, you do get an amazing rush from going on stage. Unfortunately, I've done it so much that I don't get the rush anymore and I'm constantly chasing that high. So, um, it's like a few. Yeah. So, if, so if you see me <coughs> just kind of wandering around post, post like uh, masquerade or skits going like that, you know I've had some cocaine or something like that. So, uh, <laughs> don't have cocaine. Don't do drugs. Drugs are bad. Um, uh, yes, yeah, performance, family, performance, write a script, rehearse, run it by your friends because they're the people who will tell you that, that, that's not funny. <coughs> don't do that. Um, if you're new to it, don't make it too complicated. Do something that you can do, you know you can do. Um, I did a PowerPoint presentation for my first big skit, which was alright, but I probably should have, should have done the PowerPoint presentation, especially after the guy kind of running. The do oh, do they? Do they? Oh, okay. <laughs> like this. Uh, <laughs> for example? <laughs> yeah. Um, but the guy running the uh, tech for that convention, they go after this guy. Everyone is as nervous, especially their first time. Even great, like people, you think, oh, man, you know, I really love this kind of performer. Like they do so much. It's like you'll we'll see them pacing, like really nervously backstage, like before they're going out, because everyone gets nervous. Um, uh, you will get to meet the coolest people in the green room, though. Um, I've met some amazing friends uh, backstage. You also um, get one year things I can when we the Smash Brothers. Yeah. yeah. And then Matt, uh, Matt Mercer came yeah. backstage to actually meet like the whole group, like they're there with the whole group. And yeah. Like, <laughs> so yeah, be, so cosplayers Ryoko will tend you in the uh, masquerade yeah, today, and yes. uh, the chair will come back yeah. and uh, hug you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, now this is the one that I always say, and I never really qualify, so I should probably explain it here. It's all about momentum. Um, you hear what you're saying, the show must go on. When you've started really easy to keep going and kind of be in the zone and just keep performing so it, you know it is like you know pushing a, a ball up uh, you know pushing a, like a big ball like you know physical momentum like when you started and so momentum going as much as you keep going um, and as I said performance high is a hell of a drive um, hell of a drive uh, right uh, so you don't need cosplay yep we're doing great thank you um, right, we're still time. so you've done your amazing cosplay you're like yeah I look, I look incredible uh, and then you go online, and some asshole on 4chan is like, "Oh, you're a fat fuck," and it's like, "Just don't go on 4chan." Just don't go on 4chan. Yeah. That's, that's all. That's all. I, 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 I don't. Yeah. Just avoid it like the plague. Now, unfortunately, people can and will be assholes, especially anonymous random people who just go on cosplay pages, not <coughs> cosplayers. Um, it was great. I um, did a little photo shoot with a friend of mine who is this gorgeous woman. Um, and everyone was trying to get into her pants hilariously by apparently taking me down at the same time. Like, oh, that person you got with was so fat. Hey, babe, you look great. And it's like, that's, I'm her friend. <laughs> that's not really going to work very well. Um, yeah. Uh, control where you post your pictures. Do you need a cosplay page? Or do you just want to have like your friends see your uh, photos? Put your own Instagram or whatever. Um, do not be afraid to use Photoshop if you want to. Everybody does. I have a friend who sometimes calls the cosplays. Um, uh, like Jojo characters, and uh, she doesn't like that her arms are quite skinny, so she's just going to like beef them up slightly, <laughs> just so she doesn't fit for like the new Um This is an important one, you can always ask photographers to remove a photo of yourself if you don't like to. Don't be afraid, because I do yeah. cosplay photography, and a lot of people do, I say, they're like, you know, they're kind of like, is it okay? I'm like, of course, just, yeah. you know, don't be afraid to message me, if you don't want it, I'll take it back, happily. They might argue <laughs> with you about rights, but in the UK, 
neither party has like the rights to do it. So basically, I mean, you can untie yourself, obviously, with some help. If they're not going to take you down, but really, if you ask them, they probably should. So you know, unless they're a, a real asshole. Um, that is something I've stopped doing. Uh, if you don't want to be in random photos, or random people, or random like cosplay videos, don't. Um, I uh, I used to be. be oh, you know, I, you know, I did pretty good cosplays, but no one asked me to be in there like CMV videos. Um, but I did like a really good Ed Bison one year, and Capcom had me in the video, and um, like an editor of Vice Gaming. Um, I took a screenshot of it and was like, ha, Vice has let himself go. And I was like, ooh, no! And I basically had a bit of a meltdown <coughs> and was part of the games con uh, journalist controversy of the day. Um, and um, he never learned his lesson. Um, but I felt shit for a few days and it still makes a blood boil when I think about it. So if you don't want to be in a video or run a video anymore, don't. Um, again, control where you're, where you're seen is, is a great way. Like, I, I do lots of skip videos, but I can control how I look in them, where they go, etc. <coughs> Full house fails, exercise the block button. It's the most powerful tool in your inventory. Lock away, mute away, whatever. Tell me what you want to do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And report if you need to. <laughs> 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 Yeah, they're a bit bad, yeah. I, yeah, there was a, a funny enough, one of my friends was true recently, and yes. I was on a Yu Gi Oh! meme Facebook page. Oh, oh, no. It was my Pharaoh at but it wasn't bad, it was like, but it was just me outside my bedroom, it's like when the Pharaoh is casually playing at home. <laughs> I'm like, that's good though, yeah. That was good. I got yeah. worried, and then I looked, it's like, oh no, they're just, they're just like, yeah, that's so me, and like, okay, <laughs> that works. Yeah. <laughs> I remember um, I uh, printed Cadence from uh, Penny, but I did the prisoner version. Like trucks, oh, yeah. and the picture. Photo <coughs> took the photos and put them on like the Minor Pony version of like Death of Burrow or something. Oh, okay. And people commenting said, "Why isn't she smiling?" And so I was like, oh, "She's what? trapped. Why would she be smiling? <laughs> <laughs> she was trapped." Was like, yeah. <coughs> oh, and also, uh, if you're on notifications, you can also like turn on notifications for a post if people are getting asked. Obviously, on the post, yeah, block, so that's that's always good. Name of shame is also yeah, yeah. good. <laughs> But again, only if you want to. I know, like, if you sometimes you name and shame, they're a bit powerful. They can then send like a thousand harassers after you. So you know, do whatever you want. I mean, but also like maybe just. <laughs> the most, the most important tip of all time is that you are amazing, and I think that because I'm amazing and I know amazing people when I see them. Um, that's also my day affirmation. I say I'm amazing, and I, I've said it enough times. I believe it, and that can help with your confidence. And um, you until you make it. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. literally, um, you know, <laughs> make it you make it, um, and I don't feel like that. Also, cosplay is an art, so it, it takes practice to kind of get to the amazing levels of these three. Um, <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> Photoshop. <laughs> um, so, like, you, you'll eventually kind of, you know, uh, in, <laughs> you'll, you'll improve your cosplay, and, like, you'll improve how kind of you dress yourself, and you'll find yourself thinking, oh, I'm a lot better about yourself. So I was real, real right yesterday, and I looked. So, um, yeah. uh, so final thoughts. Here's Jerry's final thoughts. Um, it is all your choice. Don't do anything you're uncomfortable with. Um, I've said that a few times. You know, it's all about you know we're here to have fun. Um, you don't want to take it seriously. Like you know, you, you go online and you get to go to like Facebook kind of like cosplay page and they share like all the superly attractive cos uh, cosplayers like who do like guests and perhaps do competitions and stuff. But then you come to a con and there's like half people cosplaying and they don't all look like this community or whatever. Um, you know, that's what cosplay actually is, you know, so we're having, all having fun here, doing whatever. You don't have to be a big famous person, you don't want to be. Um, do you really, really have to be 100% accurate? I know we all have to be accurate in cosplay, but, yeah. Oh, I, I have a story to tell about this. Um, oh, okay. She's <laughs> got a story. I cosplayed as Sharon from Subasa oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. many, 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 many years ago. And um, I did the... <laughs> when I was in Wheeler, thank you. Um, and it was the, the, the normal version, like default with the cloak. I wore, I could not find the cloak at the time, and I didn't have enough time to make one, so I just bought one on eBay. I put it on DeviantArt, which, yeah, that was a thing years ago. I don't know. <laughs> I, um, I, it, was, it was like an emerald green, and it was a bit sea through which I know was not the right color, but it did at the time. Oh my gosh, I literally was like, I got someone post to me, one post after the other saying, it's the wrong colour, it's the wrong material, how dare you cosplay this character, you can't do it <laughs> right. How dare you cosplay yeah. and, and they're wrong, <laughs> so <laughs> fuck them, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I just, when I was younger, I, I, I took it more You took it more to heart, yeah. yeah. I, I guess, I got really 
yeah, these days you could also photograph a bit if you wanted to, but yeah, those, those people <laughs> are assholes, yeah, and, and, and don't, don't, yeah. don't believe them. Um, you know, I, yeah, do how you want to, like, be that as you want to be, but if, again, if you're running out of time, don't kill yourself cosplaying. Yeah, um, I mean, if it's for a competition, then obviously you want to be as accurate as you can, yeah. but if you're literally just doing for shits and giggles, it really doesn't matter. If, yeah. And it's easy for me to say that, and I know how sometimes people <laughs> run out of time, but plan, test, test again, as much as you can. The cosplay I'm wearing today, I originally made most of in my hotel room at Hamilton last year, so I can't really, can't really talk. Um, but, you know, do try and plan your time. I know it's hard, and I know people run out of time because you're really busy with life and stuff like that. But if you can, do, it helps so much. And again, you can maybe like do a trial run of a costume somewhere else and fix it up later. You know, you if you don't just do cosplay one and done, you know, can always be fixed up. That's my phone. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> um, don't stress again. Don't stress. If you need to cancel your cosplay, cancel your cosplay. Again, everyone's got to be comfortable with what they're doing. Do a rewear. You know, I guess sometimes you might piss off your friends in a group, but the nice people there will be like, they'll be understand, understanding. So yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Speaking of friends, though, do grow up with your friends. It is great fun. <laughs> um, and um, uh, you know. Uh, and the tension is just not not just on you as well. So like in a group photo, like at least there's lots of people there, so you don't have to worry about just being in the centre of attention. Um, learn which angles you like of yourself in photos. That can be as good as just like taking a thousand selfies of yourself, or just getting some, or kind of, you know like having seen pictures and seeing kind of what angles you like. Well, ask a photographer to do it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Don't be yeah. like if, if you don't know, just ask a photographer which poses because they will pose. Yeah, no, it will pose you. Because I, 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 I'm like, yes. let me just move you this way and like, move yeah. that way. Yeah. Yeah. But that's with my friends. I might touch a stranger and I'll have the aspects. Yeah. <laughs> if you sit position this way, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take your selfies, mate. If you feel like you ah. need to have a little bit of <laughs> my <laughs> space angle. Yeah. <laughs> like, if, you, if your camera's got like beauty mode, then like. Yes. You snow. I use snow. If you're having right. a bad skin, they just be like, yeah, yes. I have no nose. Skin. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah, snow or like, all the other ones. Yeah, and, and all the good photographers will have like, well, the most photographers will have like, oh, hey, look, you can have a preview. So you can be like, oh, yeah, that's actually kind of what I look like. So, Show uh, a preview, and then if they don't like it, then you can just like, no, we'll get yeah. rid of that. Hopefully they won't smash, smash it out of your hand. Funny it is. Come on, funny it is. Oh, why, why isn't the Snapchat filter working? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it, I'm using Snapchat. I just kind of look like a dog with a poop. Just have fun. You know, that, that is the most thing about, main thing about cosplay. Uh, again, like, if you're doing competitions, then I guess you, you have to be able to take it seriously. But cosplay, most of the time, is just about having just people's, you know, being having fun with friends. Thinking, hey, I look cool, I'm this character for the day. Um, oh, ah, no, don't. No. You just don't. No. Good thing it was the end of the slide anyway. No. Do, do dumb selfies, you know, and whatever. Um, and I think that, that is it. So if anyone's got any questions, please ask away. All of you here. We have stories. Yeah. We like to hear stories. Yes. <laughs> I have a story. Um, Tell us a story again. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. <laughs> yeah. I've got a little yeah, sorry, tidbit, titty titty bit of advice. Sure. <coughs> um, not just dressing for like if you're crossbane, but for your body shape. Yeah. Don't be afraid to run into the opposite gender section of the shop. Yes. The most yes. comfortable jeans I can wear are for the men's section of the private. Yeah. It did require me to actually do maths and work out how long my leg is are. <laughs> because they don't just do one number, you have to do. You've got the, regular, you've got the regular volume, and the short and the long, yeah. Volume, but they're so much more comfortable. You can yeah. fit stuff in your pockets. Yeah. Oh my yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I do. Why don't you have pockets? No. <laughs> and it goes for the other way. You know, if you've seen the, the fine legs of the IT crowd, I'm wearing women's slacks. <laughs> <laughs> it goes both ways. If it's going to fit your, your body type, you want to be more comfortable. Even if you're cosplaying a woman, you can still wear men's clothes if it's in you. 
and I'm, I'm wandering into the bra section where I'd be like the father taking to special leave. <laughs> <laughs> if you do find that you've got a bit more booty for a men's jeans, because unfortunately men's jeans don't really have much uh, Booty! Yeah. <laughs> we'll go um, with that, jump in the trunk. <laughs> eBay is really good. I've got a pair of stretchy jeans. They're literally yeah. stretchy denim. But they have actual pockets as well. So they function as jeans, but they are actually have the pockets that I've ever worn. I literally wear them on like, every single part of that. Some of the Giacomo like, jeans are like stretchy as well, so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, anyone else got anything you want to add? One thing I'd like to say. Yes. You mention Bravis and yes. the large range. They're only good if you're up to like a 40 oh, okay. size. If you're over that, you're not going to get Are you basically fucked anyway, or is there any way? Yeah, well, for things like that, there's um, Evans is good. Evans is good. Is that sort of stuff, but they're a little bit pricey. Okay. Uh, Simply B and yours also do plus size. Okay. Great. And they're not too expensive. Yeah. They're going to make the value of the car upstairs as well. Which is good. Yeah, you need to be comfortable. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, anyone? Cool. Cool, that was the shortest panel ever. Uh, thank, you <laughs> for, uh, thank you very much for coming. Um, I really appreciate you, you coming and stuff. Now you can go to the dealer's room if you want to as well. So, uh, that was good fucking out. And thank you for watching. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to nick the camera. <laughs> Come and find something, can't Sorry, Tom. <laughs> You're mine now, thank you very much. <laughs>